Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be going over all of the new moments cards that did get released in NBA 2K22, my team today. Now, I'm going to start off this video by saying this, okay? None of these cards look like they'll be game breaking, but you never know. That's why I'm recording the video. And I know the point guard position is a position that a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, it's so weak. Well, we've got an Amy Patty Mills, a Diamond Dennis Shooter, and a Diamond Trey Young. Are any of those cards going to solve our problems? I don't know, but the Ruby Justin Holiday might be our most intriguing card here. Now, before we dive any further into this video today, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing, smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 80,000 subscribers. going to start off with Justin Holiday here now. Hear me out when I say this. 6'6". Seven foot wingspan. Now the wingspan on Justin Holiday, if, it, if it's like it is in, in real life, it's pretty crazy. Combine that with a 94 three ball, 80 driving dunk, 79 ball, 86 photo, 83 speed, 86 lateral quickness. Now, the 94 three ball is crazy. That is that is an extremely high three ball. The problem with it is only an 83 speed, I think, hurts the card a little bit. You can give him quick first step. Can fully badge him out on the defense end of the court. And remember, guys, he is a Ruby card, a Ruby Justin Holiday. So I'm gonna do this, right? Let's look at his release, which is the Brooke Lopez release. On a shooting guard, I don't know how good that is. Fundamental dribble style is not bad. I'm gonna do this because I think people need to see this. He is a lot different than Matisse style. He's a way better shooter, a little worse than the defensive end of the court, okay? That's what you're getting out of Justin Holiday. Justin Holiday's longer in general. Again, shooting badges are way better. He's just a complete different player than Matisse style. But if you think Justin Holiday is like unusable in 2K, you're wrong. There's not anything on the court this guy can't do. And on the offensive end, shooting wise, gonna be one of the best pure shooters in all of 2K. I'm intrigued to see what that Brooke Lopez release looks like on Justin Holiday, right? I'm, I'm just intrigued to see that in general. But I honestly have high hopes for Justin Holiday. If none of the rest of these cards are usable, at least the Ruby Justin Holiday is a card that you can pick up and be like, hey, he is not terrible. Next up, Amy Patty Mills, six feet tall, six two wingspan, jump shot 98 on quick. Here y'all go. 93 three ball can't dunk 90 speed ball 86 ball no 90 speed 85 lateral quickness base 98 on quick on current gen is incredible if you do play on next gen it's just going to be a decent enough release hall of fame rhythm shooter again some pretty good shooting badges can get sniper limitless and chef playmaker wise has what you uh, has what you need and he can get whatever you want to give him and then he the one thing i like about patty mills as you can give many badge in the game, right? That's one thing I'd like about him. Shifty dribble style, which is obviously very, very solid. It's just gonna be intriguing, right? We got Bay's 98 cheese ball. Patty Mills back in 2K. Now, I know the Sapphire Patty Mills was easy to grind XP with, but he wasn't really playable. This Patty Mills, is he playable? God, the problem I see is he's six feet tall. Triple threat online, triple threat offline. He can be a fun card to use. But at six feet tall in my team unlimited, is he usable? I would lean no, probably. But if you do use him offensively, he's probably going to be a cheese ball. Dennis Schroeder up next. I have some hopes for Dennis Schroeder. Now, it's going to start with the Charles Oakley base, which is not good. Let's just compare this Dennis Schroeder to our Amethyst Dennis Schroeder that we got. Here's the deal. Defensively, the new Dennis Schroeder is a lot better. Plus 5 three ball is good. The lateral quickness, plus 11 is key. Badge-wise, that's where it's at more than anything. But the problem I see with Dennis Schroeder is that, although defensively he is very good, he's pretty solid all the way around defensively, especially when you badge him up. The problem I see with this card is he's got a really bad release. He can hardly dunk. He just is kind of limited, right? I mean, when you look at it, the Charles Oakley base is not good. Quick dribble style, that is good. I'm just going to throw that out there. That is a very good dribble style. The last Dennis Schroeder we had had quick dribble style as well. But the last Dennis Schroeder wasn't good. Like, the Amethyst Dennis Schroeder wasn't good. So it just leads me to believe that the Diamond Dennis Schroeder, well, he might be okay, especially on the defensive end of the court. I don't think he's going to be anything crazy. And that's the one thing about Dennis Schroeder, right? At 6'3", he's going to be able to hold it down on defense. Is he going to give you that much more than the Amethyst? I just don't know if he will. And last up, we do have Trey Young. Is this Trey Young better than the other Trey Young? That's going to be the question of the day. And I'll give you guys an answer. The answer is no. The glitch Trey Young is going to be a lot better. 
than the new Trey Young we got, and it all comes down to defense. Outside of defense, they're basically the same cards. So imagine, imagine playing this Trey Young, right? This Trey Young who does have you know the same dribble style, but the big difference is that this one can actually hold some defense. Well, the new Trey Young we have is just a one-trick pony on the offensive end of the court. That's the really big difference, right? I mean, yes, they have different badges. I, I, I want to cover that and go over that. But defensively, it's just not even going to be close. But, I mean, if you do want to make a case that this Trey Young's better, let's say what? Hall of Fame, Catch and Shoot, Chef, and Circus Threes. Three badges that are all pretty important. But what you give up, Hall of Fame ankle braces, clamps, and menace, as well as a ton of other defensive badges. So, like I said, while you do get some badges, right, you do get a little more offense. He's more fun to use in probably triple threat online, probably more fun to use in, you know, triple threat offline, those type of modes. In my team unlimited, I don't think the card they're close. I think the, the glitch Trey Young is quite a bit better, but at least they made him different, right? When we got when we get moments cards, I like the fact that they make them different. Like I think that's cool. My thing is this. The Trey Young is at least a little different. The Dennis Shooter, while we have one, is at least a pretty big difference. The Patty Mills is way different. A new Justin Holiday. At least we didn't see what we saw like last week with the Warriors, Steph Curry, who is literally, I I'm gonna say it, they're basically the same cards. Like these cards are literally basically identical. Lateral quickness goes up, Chef, and then you get, you know, a few extra playmaking badges. But they are basically identical cards. And that's like why I think this drop is pretty exciting for me because the Trey Young is, is pretty similar uh, outside of the defense. But Dennis Schroeder is, is going to be a different card. And if you're a big Boston Celtics fan, you can run him. Patty Mills is a cheese ball base 98 in general. Plus, I mean, again, if you're a Brooklyn Nets fan, if, you're, if you saw him have a big game, you can go crazy with him. The card I'm most excited about, this guy right here in Justin Holiday. For a Ruby, I think he's going to be really cheap. Maybe not today, but by tomorrow, Wednesday, when primetime packs you know, get released, people people start buying them. I think he's going to be really cheap. I think he's going to be incredible on the defensive end of the court. I'm excited to see what his player model and player build looks like, though, more than anything. Because I think that's the make or break, right? At 6'6", six, 7-foot six, wingspan, for like a no-money-spent player, like my no-money-spent account, I think he could be a really good addition and a really good pickup for that. So... That's kind of what I'm excited about with this Justin Holiday card in general, right? With 83 speed, 86 lateral quickness. I know defensively he's going to hold it down. But a 94 three ball, do you guys realize how good that is and how high that is? You compare that in all of 2K. Let's just go to the three ball because I want I want you guys to see how high that is. And I can't even, where's the three ball even at? Let's see, shoot out three. Let's just see. At the shooting guard position, where that ranks, right? You got Chris Mullen, 95. At a 94 three ball, he's basically a top 10 shooter in all of 2K. That's what I'm excited about. That's what I'm really excited about for Justin Holiday. I think he's just going to be a way better Kyle Korver card. And I could not be more excited to see what he does on the court for you and I. But that is going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Let me know your thoughts on each and every one of these cards down below in the comments. Are you guys excited about the new moments drops or are you guys just like, okay, it's cool that 2K is doing the moments drops, but bring on the five Friday content drops. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new. As always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.